This video will cover moderate part 1 questions regarding the limit of trigonometric function. This is the first problem. We need a substitution. Let t equals 1 over x. We can rewrite as t over 1 equals 1 over x. Make each side upside down. So 1 over t equals x over 1. That means x equals 1 over t. We need these two. x approaches infinity is the same as t approaches 1 over infinity is 0, right? So 0. We can rewrite as limit as x approaches infinity is the same as t equals 0. So as t equals 0. So x means 1 over t, sine, the 1 over x means t. It becomes sine t over t, which is 1. We used x, but this one is t. This is the next question. This form is infinity over infinity form. When you see a limit that has an infinity over infinity format, you have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by highest power of x in the denominator, which is x. So, times 1 over x on each side. And expand. So, limit as x approaches infinity. So, first one is x over x over the second one is x over x minus sine x over x use the limit law this one is limit x approaches infinity this is 1 over limit as approaches infinity 1 minus limit as x approaches infinity sine x over x. So it's 1 over 1 minus limit as x approaches infinity sine x over x. This problem here limit as x approaches infinity, sine x over x should not be confused with the limit as x approaches 0 because this one is infinity. I want to use squeeze theorem. The range of sine x is minus 1 to 1 and then divide by x on each side. So minus 1 over x sine x over x, 1 over x. And each side, we have a limit. As x approaches infinity, minus 1 over x. Limit as x approaches infinity, sine x over x. And then limit x approaches infinity, 1 over x. And then this one equals 0. Keep the question. Sine x over x. And this one is also 0. So therefore, limit as x approaches infinity, sine x over x equals 0. Please remember this one. This is a Schizo theorem, or sometimes we call the sandwich theorem. So that one is 0. So 1 over 1 minus 0. So 1 over 1, which is 1. This is the final answer. This is the next question. We can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0. 5 over x times tangent 3x is 
sine 3x over cosine 3x times the denominator, which is 1 over cosine 2x. And as you know, sine 3x needs 3x in the denominator, but there's only x here, so we need 3 over 3. Then it becomes limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x over 3 times x, which is 3x then times 5 times 3 is 15 over cosine 3x times cosine 2x. So by the limit law, it's a limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x over 3x times limit as x approaches 0, 15 over cosine 3x times cosine 2x. Then this limit is 1 times put 0 into x, so 15 over cosine 0, which is 1, times cosine 0, another 1. So 1 times 15, the answer is 15. This is the next question. Rather than just doing a complex fractional expression right now, let's first divide it into two expressions. So we need times x over x. We can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0, sine 1 over 2x over x times, keep the numerator here, x over x plus tangent 3x equals limit as x approaches 0 sine half x over x times use the limit law as x approaches 0 and 1 over make upside down so x plus tangent 3x over x then this one do you remember limit as x approaches 0 sine ax over bx equals just take the number a over b so this is a part this is b part it's actually one so one over two over one which is one over two then times that one limit as x approaches zero one over fret this one is 1, and that one is tangent 3x over x. I will show you this part here. Limit as x approaches 0, tangent 3x over x equals limit as x approaches 0. Tangent 3x is sine 3x over cosine 3x times 1 over x, which is denominator, and limit as x approaches 0, change the side, sine 3x over x times 1 over cosine 3x. The first limit is 3, as you know, times second limit is 1 over cosine 3x, but x equals 0, so cosine 0, which means 1, so answer is 3. Now we have another formula, limit 
as x approaches 0, tangent ax over bx equals a over b, like a sine. So we can use the formula for the sine that we already know by converting it to tangent, or you can mix sine and tangent. So this is 1 over 2 times 1 over 1 plus, this is a 3. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 4, which is 1 over 8. This is the final answer. Please remember these formulas. Very useful. Number 5, this is the last one. We will use substitution. Let 3 over x be t. That means 3 over x equals t over 1. And make upside down. So x over 3 equals 1 over t. Then x equals 3 over t. So we need these two. So we can rewrite as limit as t approaches. When x approaches infinity, is the same as t approaches 0. Because the 3 over infinity equals 0. So this one is limit as t approaches 0. x means 3 over t, then tangent, 3 over x means t, so we can rewrite as, limit as t approaches 0, this is a 3 times tangent t over t, but if we use that one, this is, this is 1. So this is a 3 times 1, which is 3. This is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. The previous lesson is also linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.